hello, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Pixelmatic tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a minimalistic background like so. Okay, so like I said, it's minim minimalistic background and it's really easy to create, but the effects that are used to create it are very simple but very effective and you can use them again um, over sort of any text or any sort of shapes that you use in your own compositions in your own creative sort of stuff so to make the a, a generic background um, size I'm gonna choose 19 1900 in width and 1200 in height um, and this is very generic and it will fit most screens click OK Okay, so once we're in Pixelmatic like this, if you get, if you maximise your screen, the work area like this might be really big. So I just want to zoom out so I can um, work with everything and I can see everything on my screen nicely. And I'll do that by pre pressing Command and minus, Command and minus, and Command and plus to zoom back in. Command and minus, Command and plus. Right, so um, let's get rid of these tools in the top left-hand corner. To um, all I'm going to do now is fill my fill my background layer with with a colour. And um, I'm going to do this with something on my tools. Press Command 1, hide and show your tools like so. I'm going to get my paint bucket tool, select my colour. If your colours are not on your screen, it's Shift, Command and C. Yep, Shift, Command and C. Choose your colour. I'm going to choose this licorice colour. And then I'm going to left click on my background layer and it fills it with the licorice colour. Now I'm going to want to select some text. Now, drag out an area for my text for this purpose I'm gonna actually have this bottom this bottom layer eventually as a licorice color the same color as the background but just for the time being so you can see what I'm doing I've chosen this iron color right here and then I'm gonna make the Apple logo just by simply typing shift alt and K maybe yep shift alt and K on your screen which makes the Apple logo um, and if you want to resize it, just do it the same as you would with the font. I'm going to make it 96 in size, so it's not too big. It's quite small. 96 in size, I'm just going to drag it to the center of my screen. And then I'm going to right click in my layers pane and duplicate that apple layer. Drag it on top, like so. Double click the copy and just rename it to top. So I know that's what layer I'm working with at any stage. Just for the time being, I'm going to turn the bottom layer off and then work with the top layer. Now, I'm going to get this elliptical tool here, my tools, and drag out an area like this. I'm then going to go to my paint bucket tool, select this color, this mercury color, it's one above white and double click and it will add the layer and fill that layer the selection on that layer that you've chosen with the color that you've selected as well and then gonna select my move tool now what we're gonna do here we're gonna create a clipping of this top layer a clipping of this top layer which will fill this top Apple logo in order to do this we select the logo that we want to clip on the placeholder right here command left click so it selects the Apple logo go to my layer at the top right click or control left click if you're using a mouse a magic mouse and create clipping mask and this will just simply create a clipping over that layer over that top layer there that top logo layer using this fill that is used in this layer Press Command D to deselect that, and you will notice I've got this nice sort of view right here. Now I'm going to want to turn this layer down, so with the top layer, just turn it down, the opacity down, just down like so, because remember, like I said, I want this one to be licorice. Once it's licorice like this, it will um, this top layer will then sort of come into its own, and it would be too bright if it was like this. So I've just turned the opacity down to 24%. And now with this bottom Apple logo, I'm going to turn it back on. And I'm going to want to show my styles pane for this. So I'll do this by pressing Command 7 maybe. Yep, Command 7. And then I go to Stroke. This you could. All I'm going to do is select an outline of it. Um, and you could do it one or two ways, selecting an outline. You can Let me show you the first way, the easy way. With the layer selected, 
go up to this tools right here drop it down and click outline or you can just go to your styles make sure the fill is on non the stroke is on color then select the color here and I want it again to be this silver color which is one above the white was it mercury or silver mercury color sorry one above white and then the width I'm going to make double click and make two two pixels and press enter so now I've got this outline of this Apple logo what I'm gonna do I'm gonna to want to blur the outline a little bit so I'm gonna right click and convert into pixels so right click on the logo the bottom logo convert into pixels now I'm gonna to want to use an effects browser and add a gauge on blur though I do that is press command 3 command 3 yes I'm doing well with these um, commands and um, I'm gonna select this gauge on blur with my Apple logo selected just double click gauge on blur and drag the blur to 13 between 10 and 13 personal preference and click OK now we're going to do exactly the same but we're going to add some text first let's group these layers so we don't get them mixed up with our next set of layers by selecting them all the way I did this I selected the top layer press shift on my keyboard and selected the bottom layer that I wanted to that I want to finish with right click group double click that group and rename to logo so now let's add some more text and I'm just gonna do it no I'll do it right here so text remember it's defaulted to the apple licorice color so let's change the color first to this this iron color here just so you can see what we're doing again we'll change it back later I'm gonna type some text in MacBook Pro let's say for instance the so, um, the desktop was for a MacBook. Position it where I want it positioned, where I'm happy with it positioned, like so. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller than the actual Apple logo. I'm just going to make it 64. So, like I said, minimalistic. Duplicate the MacBook Pro with the top one. Call it top. Double click, call it top. And just drag it over on top so it snaps directly over the top of the MacBook Pro turn the bottom layer off for now you don't have to turn the bottom layer off it just prevents it from moving or doing anything silly um, right so with the top selected again get my elliptical marquee tool and drag out the area that I want to fill paint bucket tool select my color which was mercury click once to add new layer click again to fill that layer or fill the selection on that layer and then select our move tool now again we're going to create a clipping of the layer above it so on the placeholder of the top text command left click to select the text go to my layer not on the placeholder but on the layer control left click or right click and create clipping mask command D to deselect and then we get this nice view here go to the top text layer make it your licorice your licorice color so it fills it with black go to the layer at the top drag the opacity down again to around 24 percent 24 25 percent turn the bottom layer on select my macbook pro layer because now we're going to outline it go to my styles tool color select the color that i want which was this mercury right here make it two pixels click OK right click convert into pixels double click Gaussian blur and then with this one because the text was smaller it'll blur more so you just want to turn the blur a little bit down or down a little bit sorry um, to something again this personal preference to something that you're happy with click OK select the layers for the text right click group layers the reason I group them and not merge them is because if I want to change something later I can then change it because it's in a group I just open the group up and change what part I want if I've merged it there's no going back um, call it text and then with this text group selected I just want to move it up a little bit like so 
So that's it. That's our um, that's our desktop background made, minimalistic, using some really cool effects. Um, you can just um, share that out now. So share, file, export, and then I would generally export it as a PNG to your desktop, and then just right click once it's on your desktop and set as a desktop background. So um, hope this helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed the effects. And um, yeah, good luck with that. Catch you. Catch you.